Okay, here we go. Steps to filling out a deposit slip. This is how you fill out deposit slips. Number one, you want to complete your name, the name that you have in your account, okay? And your account number. So, where do you get your account number from? In the real world, where would you find your account number for your checking account? Yeah. Right on your checks. Remember, there are three groups of numbers on your checks. There is the first, the middle, and the last. Which one is your account number? It's the middle. It's the middle one. Uh, I, I don't know if I went through it here. I use the RAC acronym. Routing numbers first, account numbers middle, C stands for your check number, okay? You won't confuse the check number because the check number literally corresponds with the number in the upper left-hand corner or upper right-hand corner of your check. But your account number is the middle group of numbers. That's where you're going to find your account number, okay? All right, so that's step number one is to fill out your account number and your name, okay? Number two is to fill in the dates. Make sure that you're filling in the date that you deposit money. This, remember, this is your record, okay? But unlike checks, I'm not too concerned with penmanship and writing too small because unlike checks, this form does not represent all the money in your account. So you're going to find I'm far more lenient with handwriting, etc. on a deposit slip, okay? Number three is to fill in your currency. Now, some banks will ask you to separate, otherwise known as itemize, the paper money from the coin money, all right? If they ask you to, that's fine. You just list the paper money here and then the coins on the row below. Other times, they will just say cash. And when they say cash, it could be paper money and coin money together, okay? In this particular example, they're asking you to separate out the two. It's just the bank's way of trying to help them stay organized with the type of money that they are receiving that day. Okay? Step number four is to indicate the checks. Now, here's the one call I will make to you is there is a space on all deposit slips to enter in the check number. All right? And remember, we get that on the upper right-hand corner. All right? And then the dollars and cents, okay? This line here is just to aid you with formatting. Dollars goes on the left, and think of this line as almost like a decimal point, okay? That's all it is for you, okay? It's a way to help you format, keep things organized, okay? All right, so you're going to be write out all the checks. There is space for four checks on here. All right, if you were to flip the deposit slip over, there's going to be space for a lot more checks. Okay, and we'll talk about that in just a short second. All right? Step number five is to subtotal. Subtotal basically means to add up everything from above. Okay, all the checks and all the paper money and coin money that you have here that you are going to be giving to uh, the banking staff. Okay? Step six is less cash received. If you're going to have a question about a deposit slip, it's probably going to be here. All right, what I want you to write here is money you are taking home. Sometimes you're going to want to take a large amount of money home. Other times you're going to take nothing. All right, you're going to deposit everything. Okay? But less cash receives is just a fancy way of saying money you're going to be taking home with you. Okay? Number seven. Of course, you're going to subtract. If you have money here, checks here, you're going to subtract any less cash received, hence the name less, which means minus, any money you're taking home. And that will leave the remaining amount is your net deposit. Your total deposit will be what you are depositing to your account, okay? That's all net deposit is. Number eight, sign if less cash received. Notice I say if. And by the way, it says it right here, sign if. 
less cash received. You only sign if you're taking money with you. That's their way of verifying that they gave the money to the right person. Okay? So that only sign. Do not sign it if you're not taking money home. Okay? Okay. This is, the, I, there's no way for me to show you all the potential deposit slips. They're all going to be formatted a little different, but they all have the same contents. Okay? Right here, this says cash. They just want you to, it, they will, they're asking you to combine the paper money and coin money together on one line. Then over here is where the check numbers go, and then the check amounts go there. That's how that deposit slip is structured. Down here, they're asking you to do the same cash. They don't care if it's paper money or coin money. And then they're asking you to fill out the dollars and cents over here. Uh, and they have some dots right here for you to separate that out. Okay? Every bank's a little different. They all have a similar structure. This is what a bank, uh, the back of a uh, deposit slip will look like. If you have more than three, four checks and you need more space, just flip it over. And now you have a huge amount of space to fill in additional checks. You may have to do that at employers. Maybe your, bank, your boss tells you to go deposit these checks. Well, you're going to have to fill something out for all of them. Or if when you graduate high school, hopefully you guys will get some checks from family and relatives. Okay, You might have more than three or four checks. Okay? All right. Right now, we're going to go through a guided practice. This is your assignment for today, is to take the, and we're going to do it together. Guided practice means we're going to do this together. And fill out a deposit slip with the information that you see on the board. I'm going to be handing you two pieces of paper. One says guided practice, and the other one is a, is a blank deposit slip form. these two documents in front of you. Okay? Okay. So let's do this as an exercise together. Yes, sir? Okay, what is the first step? Look at the step-by-step -step instructions for how to fill out a deposit slip. Why do you put your account number on something? Why would you what? account number. This is the account number at the bank and this is your actual name. Okay? Step number one is to fill in your name and account number. Where do you find your account number, folks? On the actual checks themselves. In the guided practice, I provided you the account number. The account number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. You see that on your guided practice? What is the routing number provided to you? It's, in your, it's on your gray sheet that says guided practice. Thank you. 011701987. Here's some good news. If you are grabbing a deposit slip from the rear of your checkbook, that information has already been pre-entered for you, so you don't need to do this. But if you are grabbing a blank deposit slip from the bank, you just happen to walk in, you are going to have to do this stuff. Okay? They need your name and the account number at which you, you have an account at that bank. Okay? What is step two? We're going to fill in today's date. Today is March 31st, 2014. So fill in the date here. Make sure you have the accurate date because you want a record that you gave the bank the money today. Not tomorrow, but today. All right. So what is the next step? All right. So in this, bit, this statement, or excuse me, this form, they are asking you to separate out paper money and coin money. 
So let's take a look. We have two $20 bills. So what do we put for currency? 40. We're writing in 40. Okay? What do we write in for, for coins? We got 75 cents worth in coins. Just write 75, folks. Okay? Now that 75 cents could be 75 pennies. It could be three quarters. It doesn't matter. Okay? 40 and 75. Do we have any checks we are depositing today? Okay, how many? Two. Two. Check, um, let's do this. Hannah, what is the first check number and amount, please? Uh, 1025 is the uh, check number and $25 per cent is the amount. So here's the check number and here's the amount. Check number two is 20,569, that's the check number, and here's the amount of that check. Okay, notice I left this line blank, okay? If a lot of students are concerned, like, oh, Ms. Walker, shouldn't you have put something up here? Remember, this is not an official form. This is just a form that you're filling out for the bank. It's not an official legal document or anything. If you skip a row, it's no big deal. You did everything fine. If you started here, though, and put the information up here, that too is great, no problem. Okay, so it's don't don't be too concerned about leaving an empty check row. Okay, what's the next step then? Subtotal. To subtotal. All right. If you were to add up forty plus seventy-five cents plus twenty-five dollars and one cents and one thousand thirty-nine dollars and seventy-five cents, we were going to get one thousand. One hundred five dollars and fifty one cents. Okay. Take a look at one row above though, and it says total from other side. What do you think they mean there? Yeah. The checks are on. If you had more checks than just these two, then you total all those up and put that total there. Okay. Again, very self-explanatory. No one ever gave me instructions on how to fill a deposit slip. If you get lost, just read the form and fill in the information. It's really not tremendously challenging, okay? How much money do we want to take home? We're going to take home 50 bucks, so we're going to put this here. So how much are we really depositing today? $1,000. Oh, by the way, don't forget to uh, sign. We have less cash received, so we're going to sign. Okay? So we have our signature. Okay, but we are depositing $1,055.51. This is the grand total of what should be in my account. And I now have $50 in my wallet that I'm taking home with me. And cash. Fist of five, how many fingers up? Five fingers up if you think, yeah, I got this. Okay. All right, great. Tomorrow we will be learning how to endorse checks. Very soon you're going to have a quiz on endorsing checks, deposit slips, and then, of course, endorsing checks. Okay? Thank you.